Well, it happens to me all the time. I get it wherever I go. I'm never sure how to answer it. At a party, he asked me. On a bus, he asked me. At work, he asked me. In class, he asked me. I was at the gym on a treadmill and he asked me, So, where, where are you from? So I'm at a house party with a few friends. They've already had way too much to drink. And of course they decide to introduce me to the whitest frat boy ever, Joe. <laughs> so, where are you from? I grew up in Mississauga. Where are you from? Well, I'm Canadian. Just won the gold. But I grew up in Owen Sound. Oh. Probably thinks I don't know what he's really asking. Owen Sound only has one family of color, after all. So, what's your background? Probably thinks I'm Italian or Spanish or something. Probably thinking, the girls are so hot. the girls are hot? <laughs> I'm sorry, what do you mean? Like, where are your parents from? All right, he's getting really persistent. I guess that's what drunks do, so I'm just gonna get this over with. Well, my mom's adopted and my father's native. Oh, so you have status and don't pay taxes. <laughs> he probably thinks I'm gonna go to Walmart and buy new football equipment. That's not gonna happen. Actually, I'm non-status. So you get free education. His father probably complains about how Indians don't contribute like the rest of us. Actually, I do pay for it, and I don't know anyone who doesn't, so you can screw off. Frickin' women, so frickin' sensitive. What an asshole. Ignorant like the rest of the world. Hi, hi. I'm at a walk-in clinic. The doctor comes in, and the interrogation begins again. Where are you from? What's your nationality? What is your ethnicity? Where are your parents from? What do you eat at home? How did your parents meet? Some days I don't feel like peeling back my skin, my layers, for you, a stranger, to examine me inside out. While well, you shine a flashlight in my eyes, your questions twist my stomach into angry fists and make me want to turn myself inside out. Yes, actually, doctor, I do feel sick. Because I feel sick because when I Google mixed race and see I see racy images close to porn as I race to define my race in this race-based definitional space of us and them. And I know that when you ask me, where are you from, before you even ask me my name, that when I say Edmonton, Alberta, it's not going to satisfy you. Because what you're asking is, why do you look so exotic? And you're not talking prairie skies and Alberta beef exotic. No, I'm really interesting to you. Exotic. Erotic. Because I'm a mixed race woman. Half and half. Half what? Which half? Half, half what? Which half? Top half, half, half what? Half, which half? half? Top half? Bottom right, half? Half 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 and before I have the chance to tell you my name, half cast, half saint, these questions leave me exhausted, explaining ancestry, being crammed into categories, being both everything and nothing. So today is Women's Week. Why do you need a week or a day? This is my life. Not just today, but every day. Every day I negotiate who I am. Not having the privilege of choosing what or who I'm aware of. Are you aware that my skin color may or may not be different from yours? Are you aware that we face racism and sexism almost every day because of who we are? Are you aware that it has taken me a lifetime to be aware of myself? And you think you can learn anything in a day? If anything, you should learn that you know nothing. So I'm sure you're wondering which one of us is. I know you're absolutely dying to ask. Which peoples we're representing? <laughs> and I know you know I mean originally. You're thinking one of these things is not like the other. And not and I mean the other other. Not the other that you just other. But this other. <laughs> and we're just gonna tell you. To, to fuck, fuck off. off. <laughs> <laughs> if you were gonna ask one of us. Oh say something. Teach something. Come on, please. Teach me how to say Teach me how to dance a powwows. To buy that. To use chopsticks, write my Chinese name on a grain of rice. What do you think about Chavez? <laughs> Wait, what do you think about Chavez? <laughs> oh, oh please, tell, tell me where, where you're from. from. We would ask you, what difference does it make? Will you treat me differently based on my race? Isn't that the definition of racism? When you ask the question, I would say, I would say, I would say, we, we would, would say, say nothing. nothing. Our, Our silence would not be submissive, dismissive, permissive, permission to trespass. My silence would resist. resist. My silence would become a, a shout, shout that I'm taking back my, my power. power. Claiming a space, a place where I can feel safe. A place where I am from, 
A place that I can be. A place where I can choose to say nothing. Or anything. Or everything. A space where I can claim my humanity. Where I, I decide to say. What I want to say. Where I will say that. I will not play your guessing games to be your ex or be your expectation to fulfill your thrills so you can feel satisfied with having identified another exotic object, another commercialized product of your imagination. I will not help you pervert the complexity of my identity, dilute cultures and movement of people to enrich your multicultural fantasy. And for what? To be your Miss Exotic Mystery? I will not be your Indian safari of what you call the strange allure of the exotic, the foreign. If you want a five-star tour of tropical beaches, Buy a plane ticket and fly away from your boring life. <laughs> I am not your escape from the mundane. I am not a curiosity, nor a specimen of identity, nor east meets west, who said they're opposites anyway. I'm not a coconut. A banana, an egg. An apple? Which is red and which is white? I'm white on the outside, but red on the inside? Is that an inside out apple or just human? I will not unpeel the layers of my history, my family, my identity for you, a stranger. I am not a t-shirt with an easy to understand label that says, made in Canada, 50% Chinese, 50% Irish Roman Catholic blood. 50% Colombian, 50% Guyanese, imported from Venezuela. 50% native, 25% French, 25% Ukrainian, says who? Machine wash coals and hang to dry. <laughs> I am not a t-shirt or a pair of jeans. And I don't know that nothing else got mixed into my family's history. And anyone who's taken high school point biology knows that jeans don't work like that. I am not biracial. Mixed up. A half-breed. These words never fit me, like two small t-shirts, which never flattered any woman's figure unless she was shaped like a stick or a Barbie doll. And I will not be your brief look into the dark of foreign authenticity. I am not an import, and you are not border control, so don't strip search me with your x-ray eyes. I'm not going to freely trade my self-respect for your appraising gaze. That is not a fair trade, and I am not a bag of coffee beans on a donkey's back. Blankets for my land is a bargain, indeed. And don't you tell me that I am denying my cultural heritage. Or that I'm too sensitive. We're just confused, but if you ask me, where are you from? And if we were actually friends, if we had a relationship over coffee or dinner in the context of a relevant conversation that doesn't other, maybe I would offer to tell you stories of my mother, of my grandmothers, of strong women on both sides of the world. Maybe I would offer to share these stories, these lives, these experiences. That time that I went to the res to see my cousins, my aunties. I would offer to share stories of meeting family for the first time and better understanding another side of my own cultural history. And maybe I would offer to show you who I am, if it's about appreciating me, all of me, all of these identities. So when you ask, where are you from? I may not answer. I will ask you, why do you want to know my identity? Don't you have your own? <laughs> my silence is going to be the, the power, power to choose. choose.